Hey! Welcome. How you doing out there? Are you ready for this? Today's ride, full on race day effort. It's a 60 minute time trial of Sacalobra. <laughs> And this is based on my ascent. I've done all this planning based on my numbers. Times of effort. And I'm gonna tell you how I got on at the very end. Don't wanna to give too much away. 60 minutes. Now, if you know your FTP, you know what your FTP stands for. It's your maximum sustainable effort for one hour. And that is what we're trying to go for. If you know your FTP, I want you to try and get as close to that FTP average power output for the hour effort. Now, if you don't know your power numbers, no matter. We're going to use heart rate. In a race day effort, you want to be looking at a minimum of around about 80%. Once we're done with the warm-up, we're going to jump in and you're going, to, you're going to be kind of fluctuating between 80% and max. It's, it's a hard effort. You are racing. Now they're going to put some stats up on the screen. It's a 9.5 kilometre climb. It's a Cat 1 climb, 668 metres to the top. Once we're done with the warm-up. Seven minutes of warm up in total, then we're going to bang straight in. There are 26 hairpins. I've got a map here that shows me where they are. And those hairpins average between 8 and 12%. Now, King of the Mountains time for this is 24 minutes and 54 seconds. Queen of the Mountains, 29 minutes 51. I'm giving you double that. Easy achievable. Now then, check you've got a water. Check you've got a towel. Because once we jump straight in, folks, we're all in. Just coming up to three minutes done of the warm up. I want you to add a little bit more gear. Giving you some warm up numbers here on the screen to help you out. Once we hit the start, which comes at seven minutes in, we're going to have slightly different graphics than what we normally have, because I'm not going to guide you on your effort level. I kind of will be giving you some coaching as we go. But you're racing. Now racing, you've just got to keep going at it, haven't you? High, high, it's your maximum effort you're going to do. It's what you train all season for, for that race. So keep hydrated today, team. Keep sipping the drink as we go. You need that fluid on board to aid your performance. Now I'm gonna fess up today. Now I normally go all in when I'm instructing these workouts. Clearly, if I was doing this as a time trial, there is just no way I could coach you up the, the climb. Not gonna happen. My intensity is, I'm gonna set my smart trainer today. At a fairly hard intensity, but it's not my full on intensity because I would just be, you know, concentrating on what I was doing. So I backed off just a little bit just to be able to coach you up the climb today. It's not my climb, it's your climb. Your effort, you're going to own it. Now then, hairpin options. Again, these will be programmed in to work exactly the right time if you're going up the profile. 26 of them in total, including a 270-degree hairpin right at the end. Now options. What we're trying to do is keep as fluid and as, as kind of even paced as we can all the way up, because you don't want to be going too, too deep. Now, if you're just doing a flat road time trial, you could pretty much stick to two minutes to go, team. You could pretty much stick to the numbers and you could just kind of just head down, stick into your FTP. 
Now when you're climbing something like Sacalobra, you've got these hairpins and it kicks up. Almost impossible, add a little bit more gear here folks. Almost impossible to stick to an even power output, even effort. So just to spice it up a bit, on the hairpins you've got a number of options. You can keep a steady cadence all the way through, just add a little bit of gear, that's going to push your heart rate up, that's going to push your power up, but it's kind of going to replicate getting around that hairpin. Other option, keep the same gear, keep the same resistance, but just up the leg speed. Also, going to up your power output and it's going to push your heart rate up. Now both of those efforts, you're going to have to pay that back. You're going to have to try and recover before you can set off again. Option three, if you like climbing, standing, why don't you get out the saddle for those hairpins? Again, heart rate's going to go up, got to pay it back. Fourth option, if you want to try and do replicate a, a regular time trial, you're going to drop a little bit of resistance, actually not, you're going to stick the same cadence, same resistance and just keep it all the way through. We are going in 20 seconds. Make sure you take some last sips of fluid before we get going. All in, race effort, holding nothing back. If you've got a lap key on your uh, bike computer, I want you to hit it in five seconds because you're gonna measure that average. Two, one, hit the lap key and we're off. Load the gear up, load the resistance. Don't go off too hard too early. All that adrenaline is going. You want to keep it nice and fluid on those pedals. Now, bike position. Do you want to stay up here? Do you want to go into the drops? Do you want to get into an aero position if you've got tri bars on your bike? Whatever you like. Keep breathing deep. I'm going to show you some breathing drills as we go to help you keep that control and we're off folks I'm just going to turn this over we're going to coach first 4k of the climb is kind of nice now when I did this climb we were 25 degrees I think at the at the bottom and I did this in the morning and it did in August I had no choice Set off fairly early, still 25 degrees at the start. I'm trying to keep a hold of my heart rate here. <laughs> and for the first 4K, you're in trees. So, to some respect, you've got a little bit of shelter. However, still gonna get warm. Then as we pop out the trees at 4K, it's full on sun in the face. If it's a sunny day, of course. And you haven't got the altitude really to contend with because it's you're starting at sea level. Oh, Sakhalov's in Bjorka, if you didn't know, by the way. <laughs> it's warm in August. And it was particularly warm when we were there. They were having a heat wave. Okay, straight in a row till we hit the first hairpin. Oh, about another, yeah, three minutes, 40. So we hit that first hairpin. First couple of hairpins, I'm going to stick with the same gear, but I'm just going to up my leg speed. Now, apart from at the top, each of these hairpin efforts, I want you to concentrate on putting out a 20 second little burst of energy, either a stand, cadence lift, resistance lift. About 20 seconds to get around each of these hairpins. Some of them are shockingly steep. One of them's 12, I, I, re I measured 14%, it reckons 12. I think it's hairpin number four, it's horrible. Yeah, very steep. How you doing? Get in, you should be hot already, right? I'm gonna put some of that up. Woo! Now, get in the zone. Get in the headspace, you are racing. You should be feeling uncomfortable 
from start to finish. There's no recovery, there's no hiding on a race day. And those of you that used to come to my spinning classes, my race days were legendary. Fantastic, love it. How are we doing? About another two minutes to that first hairpin. As I said, I'm gonna put the graphic up on the screen on this side to show you the profile to the top. This is off Velo Viewer, by the way. That's uh, pretty accurate. Shows you the changes in gradient and it shows you the profile to the top. <laughs> Shockingly scary. Shout out to me if you've done Sacalobra. And unless you catch the boat to Sacalobra, the really scary thing is you have to descend it before you come back up so you know what you're in for. Ah! It's quite scary. <laughs> no, I love descending, so the descent didn't bother me. But you, those hairpins are sharp, sharp, sharp. Now then, are you still feeling fully in control? If you are, you may want to add a little bit of gear. You're kind of on that cusp where well, you're just able, one minute to go to that first heaven, where well, you're just able to feel like you've got a semblance of control. You are racing. Now, if you're tracking your FTP numbers, how close are you? Bear in mind, if you're gonna put a little effort in, for those hairpins and you pop over your FTP, you've got to pay that effort back. You've got anaerobic. Okay, 30 seconds, team. Now, you notice I'm not changing gears because my smart trainer's setting the power for me. But I will cue you when those hairpins are coming in for you to make your choices. Oh, I love this ride. This has taken me a whole week to plan, by the way. Lots of effort gone in because I want to make it as accurate as possible. Okay, going in five seconds, team. What are you going to do? Are you ready? Two, one. I'm going to lift my leg speed for 20 seconds. Ten to go. Pushing the heart rate up. Three, two, one. Bring it back. Did you stand there? Whoa, I bet your heart rate's just gone. Woohoo! Whoop! Right, right up. One done. 25 to go. Let's have a little bit more music. Now I've got the music playing here, so I'll get a clean recording and then I'll put the music on later. You've got to keep a hold of that lactate in the legs. Keep a hold of that breathing. Keep the control best you can. Okay, next. Hairpin is coming. In 10 seconds. Make a choice. Second one, I'm going to load the leg speed. Five. Three. Two. One. Pick your efforts. Come on, drive around that hairpin. Look ahead. Look across. As you go. Push. Ten to go. Picking my leg speed up. Getting that little lift in power. Two. One. Come back. Now you've got a little bit of respite here. I haven't got another hairpin for a while. Look at the graphic. You can see the marks there. It's just steady, relentless, lovely climb. Average around about 7% all the way. Right, check out your position. Are your hands nice and soft and relaxed on the handlebars, no matter which position you're in? Little bends at the elbows, keep them soft. Shoulders pulled back and down into your back pockets. 
chest up and lifted, looking forwards. Try not to sag over your handlebars. And if you're in a tri position, we're not going for totally aero. Keep your head up a little bit, yeah? Whoa, we're ready! <laughs> oh, it's hot. I'm gonna call the. So I met, obviously, once you've got the data afterwards. And if you haven't got a lap key on your bike computer, and you maybe pull your data into something like Strava or Training Peaks, I'm, I'm sure other software allows you to do it. You're gonna isolate from seven minutes to 107. Isolate that, and look at your average power output. See how close you are to FTP? Or your average heart rate for that one hour effort. If your average heart rate is below 80%, next time you have a go at this, you can go harder. Definitely. We're kind of trying to stick at our threshold heart rate. Now I've been VO2 maxed, tested rather. My threshold heart rate is 88% of my max heart rate. But typically it's around about 85% of your max heart rate number. Is it me, folks? Or is it getting a little bit warmer? Still in the trees. Enjoy that, enjoy that shelter, folks. I'm just going to coach you as we go. You have got this. This is about the hardest effort, other than an FTP test, this is the hardest effort you do. Race days, all in, no holding back. Sweat level is going up already. I even at mine slightly lower intensity than you. But even I'm getting pretty warm. Oh. And I have tested this class, this workout. Okay, in 20 seconds. This time, I'm gonna load some extra gear. I'm gonna keep a steady cadence, load some gear. You can do any of the options, remember? Going in. And I've got some beats going. Two, one. I'm gonna drop in a lot of gear here. In terms of how much extra effort, how much extra gear, I kind of suggest it. You want to be at the top ends of your VO2 max. So you're going to have to pay that back. Bringing it back down. Really lovely little feature. On the Sakalobra climb. If you kind of Google these images. And it is a feat of engineering. It's a feat of engineering to behold, to be honest. The road. There's one bit where you go through a natural arch. Oh, it's fine until there's a coach coming the other way. Because uh, it's only just about, <laughs> just about width enough for a coach to go through. You just gotta hope they just wait for you to come through. So we're gonna see a coach in the distance. So what we're gonna do, for the 20 seconds it's gonna take us to get to the arch, I want you to put a little bit of burst of effort in. Keep them going. Posture breaks at any point, come out of the saddle though, how it's gonna drop off. In one minute, we're gonna go for the arch. Now you absolutely cannot see the top of this climb until you're quite a long way up. It's just trees, which is kind of nice, because you, you know, it's blissful ignorance, right? You can't see what's ahead. Because when you can see those top hairpins, and they are tight and close together, <laughs> the full enormity of what is ahead of you kind of hits. <sighs> Gotta get my heart rate down here. <sighs> so in about 30 seconds. Just about see the arch ahead. Still in the trees. And breathe. Oh, 
Let the diaphragm go, let the abs go. Ready, two, one. 20 seconds, I'm gonna pick up the pace. Come on, power through. Do you wanna add some extra gear as well? You see that coach coming? <laughs> we wanna be through that arch before that comes anywhere close. Three, two, one. Okay, you've not got much time here, folks. This is a bit mean, actually, but oh well. This is the reality of what the climb is. Once you've got through the arch, you've got the steepest hairpin ahead. It's coming in about 20 seconds. Now, you can obviously back off if you need to recover. But if you're going for a good time, you just got to plow on. Two, one, extra gear. Oh, that is really tough. Come on, drive round. Don't want to be losing time. Clock is ticking. All right. You've got a minute till we get to that next hairpin. Oh, I'm warm. I mean, even at this intensity that I'm doing, it's still pretty shockingly horrible, to be honest. Okay, you've got two more hairpins ahead. They're not really got space in between. After the seventh one, you've got a really long stretch where it's just relentlessly up. And you're still in the forest for a bit of it. And then we go out. Whoa. How's your position on the bike? Make sure those bum bones are supported. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Ready to go. Three, two, one. I'm keeping the same cadence. Got a nice steady cadence, 74 RPM, but I've loaded that gear. <coughs> Excuse me, water went down the wrong way. Oh, lush. And release. 49 seconds. That was number five. I think, yes. Oh. Number six coming. Oh, shockingly warm. Ah, let's come into it. So these are quite close together, and then we've got a bit of a gap. In 10 seconds, make your choice. Are you just plowing on? How you doing? I'm loading that gear. Trying to keep that steady cadence. Try not to stamp on those pedals. Smoothing it out. 20 second little lifted effort to get us around that hairpin. Three, two, and one. Okay, two minutes 37 to hairpin number seven. So do you need to back off here? How you doing? How's that breathing? You've gone over threshold. And you're going to go over the threshold. Well, round about threshold. Or a little bit over. All the way up. If you're going for an FTP match, you are going to have to put in some extra efforts. Because you will find your, you know, your power will drop off. I was absolutely overjoyed and beside myself when I did this effort for real. I'll explain why when I get to the end. Not today. Pushing on. Hands soft. Elbows relaxed. Shoulders back. Okay, let's do a couple of breathing drills. 
Your breathing is what's going to help you act. Irrespective of whether you ride on the road, you just ride on an indoor bike. And you don't do any road cycling, it doesn't matter. When you're really working hard, you're breathing. That's what's going to help you out. And relax, close the eyes. Big breath in, let the stomach go. Keeping the shoulders down. Keep it relaxed. Get that control back. Just less than a minute. To the next one. And at hairpin number seven, the temperature jumped up. The temperature jumped up to 30 degrees already. Oh. It's not going to help with your heart rate. I'm trying to expel that extra heat from the body as you go. Okay, I want the full on dripping sweat stage here, folks. I'm feeling your pain. I've got the added extra adrenaline from coaching you, which is gonna push up my heart rate. Are you ready to go? Three, two, one. Come on, get it on. Push and push and push and drive and squeeze that effort out of the pedals. And release. Oh, well, I was a bit short. Maybe eight, maybe 18 seconds around that one. I'm not tell. How are you doing? Full on drippy sweat. Oh, man. you're feeling that thirsty grease. <laughs> Have you forgotten to open the windows or put your fan on? Not helpful. Got to try and keep the control. You really want to make this a good effort, don't you? Up here, this is your chance. When you get to the top, you should be totally spent. Nothing left. Gotta get my heart rate down. Okay, so we've got a long stretch. Meanders away. No steep hairpins. Still in the trees, just for a little while longer. I'm just going to bring my heart rate down. Now I can't bail here, I can't drop my gears because they're auto set. I'm kind of committed to the level of effort that I've programmed. Challenging, not killing, but not much fun. <laughs> I kind of regret it, I thought I made it quite so hard. Because I was kind of, I tested it, but not at this level. I thought it'll be fine. I'm just so excited to do this, my adrenaline's I got off the scale. Come on, push, push. Get in the zone. Or have you zoned me out completely? Shut up, Chris, you're not helping. I've just got to do this. Just got to get to the top. Now that tempo, the music, is a steady 65 beats per minute. 65 RPM. So if you're going for steady cadence, set your rhythm. I mean, you might be a little bit quicker than that. I'm around about 70 RPM. Kind of regretting not having a towel here, folks. If I'm honest. Oh, look. End of the trees ahead. Wave goodbye as we drop as you come through then you kind of get a measure of what's ahead you can't see the top you can't see the top at all not until you come around the final bend but you can see the wall or the walls ahead for those hairpins where the road snakes up the side of the mountain I'll try and drop in some graphics so you can see what it looks like unfortunately did have the camera on my bike when I did this. And again, I'm going to be really truthful with you. When my hubby and I did this ascent, it was a heat wave in Mallorca. We would go out really early in the morning. By the time we got back, 
just before lunchtime. 42 degrees. Really great hot weather training, but really hard. Ah, we kind of wanted to give this scent a really good go. Now, if you if you looked at if you know Sacalobra, to cycle there, you, to get there, unless you go on the boat, you have to cycle a long way to actually get to the climb. Keep going, folks. And because of the heat, we decided to drop the bikes in the back of the car and we drove over there. And we drove down the climb, which was terrifying in the car. Totally terrifying. And we got to the bottom, part of the car, did a little bit of a warm up. We stripped everything off the bikes, everything. Only thing I had was one bottle of water, no pump, nothing, <laughs> and my bike computer. I didn't even carry my phone, it's not happening. Because who wants to give it? Oh, it's really sad, right? <laughs> I bet you've done that at some point. And we wanted to give it the best shot. Now clearly if we'd really struggled, we'd have just descended, one of us could have descended and got bike pump and all the rest of it. So before you get on that, it was safe, it was quite safe. But yeah, we, cycled, we didn't cycle over there. It was just too hot, way too hot. We were about to have left about five in the morning to get over there for it to be nice and cool. And it's all about the climb. Fun bit, of course, was descending on the bike after we'd done the climb. Now, that was fun. Not so scary on the bike. I love descending, by the way. It's my, I'm better at descending than I am climbing. I've worked really hard on my technique. How are we doing there, team? Just less than a minute. Look up. There you go. Look what's ahead. Well, don't look up. Oh, blissful ignorance. Now, as we start to drop in to this section of the climb, the hairpins come thick and fast. They really are relentless. It's hairpin, bit of road, hairpin, bit of road. Still smile, oh you're not, you didn't even smile from the start. Come on, you've got this. We are going. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it in. We're clearly on the road. I would not be drinking. Around the hairpin. Push, push, effort level up. Are you standing? Three, two, one, and back to your base level of effort. I'm not gonna say recovery. It is not recovery, you are racing. Are you <laughs> racing out there? Are you giving it the absolute beans? Yay! Now I have instructed this class with a room full of people in the studio and it is just electric. There's lots of shaking heads going on. I'm to remind people to keep the chest up and try not to try not to do this, right? Oh, it's too much, too much. Keep looking up. Chest up, chest open. Big breaths in. Giving the body everything it needs. Now I was gonna kind of back off here, but I'm my heart rate's so different. It's gonna turn in to full on effort. Now if you're tracking the distance on your Garmin or whatever bike computer you've got, just ignore that. Mine's currently saying I've cycled 24 kilometers, go me! I really have not. 
we are about, I've got markers on this one. Where are we coming up to? Going very shortly, folks. Hairpin number nine. Hairpin number nine is about four and a half, four and a half K in. Yep. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Up the leg speed, load the gear, stand. Or stick with steady effort. I've got some gear loaded. That does not feel nice. Pushing around the hairpin and drive. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I'm having a ball here, I have to admit. Not quite so much fun. It's having a room full of people. Dying in front, not dying literally, obviously. Before you start with the comments. <laughs> Giving it their all. <laughs> Oh, we used to make a big event of these. Prizes for everybody at the end. Lush. But, so pleased to be able to share this with you. Next one coming in about 30 seconds. Now I'm really looking at my notes today because I don't, don't want to miss a single effort. You know what it's like, I'm normally talking and we <laughs> miss something. Hairpin number 10 coming up. Now, you can see the graphic. You can see it starts to get a bit cheeky, a bit fruity. Three, two, one. Now, I'm just going down into my drops for these efforts because I kind of favour that. But it's up to you. Pick your preferred position. Push and drive and smile. Three, two, one, and release. Two and a half minutes to the next one. You see, I'm stopping myself saying two and a half minutes recovery, folks. It's not. Quite a long section here. And in reality, this section's quite steep. You can see the red there on the graphic. I've got the graphic here so I can see what you've got on this side of the screen. Now effort level here, where should you be? Well, I mean, as close as, if you know your FTP, as close as that's possible, folks. Maybe a little bit back. Heart rate. Well, I mean, that's gonna be really individual, to be honest. But you should be looking at Threshold plus. Race day in terms of spinning terms, 80% is your minimum heart rate, which is just aerobic. Let's give you a little bit of recovery, respite. Up to max, 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 whatever that is, in the 90s. Minute and a quarter. To hairpin number 11. So this bit's steep in reality. It kind of catches your legs because you just done a series of hairpins and then it's pretty steep. So if you want to put a little bit of effort in here to replicate that, go ahead. Keep that pedaling technique rhythmical. Keeping that power effort smooth as you go. So think of it in terms of quadrant. So just before the top of the stroke, drive the foot over the top and then down into the drive phase. And then that leg is going to pick up, toes are going to dip as you come out to the top. As that leg gets to the bottom, clearly the next one's taking over. So it should be smooth. We call that pedaling circles. Now it does get really challenging when you've got heavier gears. Got to really work on that technique. Now, how are your quads, folks? How are those quads doing? Ready to go again? Three, two, one. I'm going to come back to that. Okay, I've dumped on a ton of power here. I 
Now, how do you ride? Are you, are you kind of feeling more comfortable, even though you're putting out the same level of effort? My legs ride into it. And release. Minute, 10 seconds. My legs ride into the effort. And kind of, the first few are a bit lumpy. And then it gets, I'll say easy. Body switches on. Know what's required. And I, I kind of, personally, I get comfortable with that. Are you that kind of rider? Do you like that level of intensity? I mean, this is not a barrel of laughs here. This is hard. But do you like that? And even if you don't race, I don't race, I push myself. Don't need to race, you can just push yourself to the best level of effort that you can do for you. That's all you're in control of. Look, heart rate's gone up. Getting all 20 seconds to the next one. Number 12 coming up. Now it does start to drop off just a little bit after this. So if you really need to get that control back, I've, I've kind of auto set a regular power. Three, two, one, and push. Look ahead, look up, look where you're going, round that hairpin. Look what's ahead, drive it all the way. Every single pedal stroke counts. And squeeze. Three, two, one. Almost two minutes to the next one. So the road just drops off just a little bit here. It's getting hot. Where are we up to? 32 degrees, how's that feel? <laughs> and I, I actually, I, just, I can't recall the heat. I kind of blanked that out. It was just zone, in the zone. How you doing with the fluids? Keep them going. I let the heart rate come down, just a little bit. Release any tension in the shoulders. Driving through the legs, opening the hip. So driving from the hip, it's gonna bring in the muscles at the back. Now my glutes are quite sore from a few days ago, but I never feel it in my quads, ever. Never feel it here. I'm a glute dominant athlete. What kind of rider are you? You wanna try and drive from the hip, not through the knee. If you extend the knee, it's these muscles here. Now, I tell you they're gonna be recruited. you are trying to drive from the powerhouse at the back. Number 13, lucky for some, is coming your way. Now this is a cheeky little section here. They come pretty close together. Three, two, one, and attack. 20 seconds. Too much fun. And release. Now you've got a little bit of music here to help you out. I kind of don't hear the music when I'm instructing. Just hearing it for cues really, for you. Because actually for me, it's all about the effort. Oh, next one! <laughs> Three, two, one, drop it in! I did say they were coming thick and fast. Oh man! Oh, how are you doing with that? And that is number 14, over halfway. And release. You've got just over a minute to the next one. That was 13 and 14. Whew. Oh. Number 15, I've programmed this to up my leg speed. Keep the same resistance. But what are you gonna choose? Are you gonna load the gear? 
Are you just gonna stick with what you got? Steady as you go. Are you gonna stand? Oh, respect if you do. <laughs> oh, my heart rate just goes wuss if I stand up. Or maybe you're just one of those really, really light athletes that can stand and keep their heart rate in control. Three, two, one, pick it up. Feels a little bit late, but never mind. I'll readjust that. Three, two, one. Next one. Pick it up. Keep going. Oh. Three, two, one. Brutal. How was that, folks? Oh, check the numbers. You've got three minutes 20. You can see from the profile there. Straight bit. Now this bit, if you look up, you can <laughs> almost see, I think, the 270 degree hairpin. You can't see the top of the climb. You can see the end of the hairpin. Oh, heart rate's gone mad. Fun, fun, fun. But you've got these walls ahead of you. Oh, you strain your neck looking up, actually. I'll try and find some images if I can. Now, when all this lockdown nonsense is finished, I can get back on the road and do some proper climbing. I'm going to get the camera on my bike so we can do some stuff to some proper profiles. You just got to make do with me at the minute. Sorry. Oh. How's the heart rate doing? Banging in your chest. Are you having to take some recovery here? Are you really struggling? Oh. Oh, this is, this is a big effort. Oh, in, in case you're interested, and I'll try to keep this as best I can. If you know anything about TSS scores and you tracking training peaks or effort scores, the planned ride, which is what I have done it, if you assume a 95% FTP for everything other than the hairpins and then you do 119% of your FTP for the hairpins, the whole ride is going to give you a TSS of 111, 111. When I did the effort, not including any warm up or cool down, my TSS was 102 which is pretty close. One minute to number 17. And as you can see, oh, there you go. Can you see that? Time-wise, it's not an awful long time to the top. Effort-wise, shocking. You've got to really dig in to that mental strength. That is what's going to get you to the top. How much time have we got to go? Less than 20 minutes, I think. Yes, the very top. 20 minutes? Well, that means you've done 40, right? You've done 40 minutes of effort. Are you hanging in there? Are you still with me? Of course you are. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get these done. 20 seconds of power. Push, push that effort. Come on, don't let that mind get the better of you. Don't let the legs get the better of you either. Gotta keep driving. You really want this. Three, two, one. One minute 41. Just check my numbers here. Oh, it's 
So that was number 18. There you go. My legs are starting to feel heavy. How about yours? 40 minutes into the effort, it's my mental strength that's going to get me to the top. Oh, my legs are just going to do exactly what well, they're going to do, what my smart trainer tells them to do, actually. One minute to the next one. Oh, have I missed one out? Yeah, I have. Do you know what? First, come on, you see, that's, this is where the extra cadence, so I don't get a, a prompt. I don't want to miss one. Up it, up it, up it. Not strictly true. Three, two, one. I did think there was more of a gap than there should have been there. I don't want you to miss an effort. Don't want you to miss out. Right, well now you're cool truck. Oh, but sadly, the next one's coming very soon. Whew. In about five seconds. Are you ready? Legs complaining. Three, two, one. Now push. How's that leg speed going? You've got a cadence meter. Got to be keeping it above 60 RPM. Don't want to be grinding the gears. Three, two, one. Don't want to overstress the knees. Keep it above 60 RPM. Now, if you can kind of do 90 RPM, I would suggest you need more gear. <laughs> That's pretty quick. All right, these are going to drop in really quick and fast now. Number 20 is coming. Not far away. Now, we've got a, a series of hairpins, you can probably see from that graphic, really close together. So we're going to drop the effort time down. Let's give you a quick breather before you go to the next one. So we are going to sneak those in. Numbers 21, 24 are really, really close. And breathe the heart rate down. Just a bit of recovery here. Well, we're not recovery, recovery. Control. My heart rate is right, bang on. Okay, folks. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Drive around that hair pick. Come on, you've got this. Three, two, one. So even though I dropped off the effort a little bit, oh, hang on. Heart rate, heart rate, heart rate. Got a little bit of break now. That was 20. Now you've got a break. Can you see the graphic? A little bit. So we hit those really wants close together. <sighs> Blisteringly hot here, well over 33 degrees, approaching 34 degrees, and that was the cool bit of the day, which uh, should be feeling quite warm. Oh, how are your legs? Really feeling heavy. I'm going to try and bring my glutes in a bit more. Definitely see that 270 degree. I'll put a picture up of it. It's really spectacular. And that's the last hairpin. And then you've just got a four minute effort to the push to the top, straight bit of road. And if you've got anything left, that's why you're just going to go all in because we're after an average effort for the 60 minutes. Blow my nose. Excuse me. Better. 
Never good. Um, are you one of those riders that needs to keep blowing your nose? I'm rubbish. Whew. That's bad. How's the, how's the puddle around your bike? Oh, I'm sweating so much. Twelve minutes to the top. Woohoo! Who's bailed? Who wants to bail? Who, who's not a quitter? Come on, you got this. I believe in you. Just sorry I can't see you. Really need to get this done. Okay, we start these. Sneak a little laugh. Block of four hairpins. Number 21 to 24. First two, you're gonna do a 10 second effort. Second two, 15 second effort. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Come on, make them count. Push in the effort. Three, two, one. Not a lot of time. 20 seconds. Go in again. Key to focus. Hold it there. Three, two, one. 10 seconds push. Come on, heart rate's, heart rate's stratospheric. Feeling that lactate in the legs. Drive through it and release. 30 seconds. Next two, 15 second efforts. Come on, control. You're mentally gonna do this. And if this is the biggest effort you've ever done, fair play, come on, you've got this. This is a tough, tough effort. Three, two, one, 15 seconds. Okay, now I'm kind of getting towards the top. I'm gonna go more all in. I'm gonna match you. I've upped the power settings. And we're gonna go all in. Three, two, one. 38 seconds for the next one. I'm gonna really go all in with you. I really want to, I really want to do this. I'm quite a stubborn cyclist. I'm not, I'm not a fantastic cyclist. Boy, am I stubborn though. If I decide to do something, I am doing it. Come on, folks. And push. Come on. Get the gear on. Get that cadence up. I've got a bit of both. Extra cadence, extra resistance. Driving well over my FTP. And come on. Two more to go. You've got hairpin number 25. Coming in a little while. Minute and 40-ish. And then you're gonna drive to the last big 270 degree hairpin. That last hairpin is a cheeky surprise. Oh, I love my cheeky surprises. And that cheeky surprise, because it's quite a long hairpin, guess what? 50 minutes of effort, 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 seconds even. <laughs> Delirium setting. 50 seconds of effort to get you all the way around. It's a really long bit of road. And you're really gonna have to push. It does kind of sweep up. And it's quite good because there's a cafe on the right hand side. And there's loads of coaches and people kind of just get out there for the view. So you feel obliged to put a little bit more effort as you're being watched. So we're gonna do that, right? Smile for the cameras. Okay, going about 30 seconds. That's number 25. Now then, you've got seven minutes-ish of effort. 
Now you can really start for the last seven minutes, if you've got it in your legs, if you've got it in your body, to really drive on. Number 25 is coming. Are you ready? Three, two, one. 20 seconds. Pile it on. Pile on the level of fun. Come on. Push, push, push. Are you still with me? I can see the fear in your eyes. Three, two, one. One minute 20. Breathe it down. Oh, heart rate's gone mental. Whew. Now your adrenaline's starting to kick in. Now the endorphins are kicking in. You can see that big bend ahead. And then you know it's just a push for the line. So, you've got this. Less than a minute to that 50 second effort. And then you're gonna take a breather. And then you've got four minutes to drive that last bit. You can see it's quite a long stretch of road, straight. Push, right for the line. All in, everything in. You're racing. You know, imagine the crowds on the side of the road giving it that, come on! I'm your only fan on the side of the road, I'm afraid. Heart rate, mental. How's your heart rate? Are ready, you ready? 50 seconds of effort. Three, two, one. This is gonna be a level of hurt. Oh, well over FTP, 50 seconds. Up into VLA max. Zone six. And hold that for 50 seconds, just about. I'm driving, got more, more power on, more leg speed. I'm gonna have to shut up. Yay, they say, I'm gonna have to shut up. I'm gonna really push this hard. I'm sure. 10 seconds. Drop that power just a little bit. Breathe. Four minutes to the top. We're gonna to keep with that high leg speed. And time trialing, definitely time trial mode here. Push, focus, look ahead, you've got this, come on folks, are you in the drops, where are you, I'm only about to drops, you see all those leg muscles now, now I'm driving through my knee and from the hips, you need how are you doing team are you digging deep all right lactate piling in the legs it can all that burn heart rate stratospheric going full out yep Oh, too much fun. Love it. Come on. Stick with it, team. You can't quite see the finish line because you go up a rise and then you can just about see it. Max heart rate. Two minutes. Yes, I can talk with max heart rate. 
I, I promise you I can. <sighs> Couldn't sing, luckily for you. Okay, if you can tolerate it, squeeze on a bit more, come on. Crowds are going crazy. I'm going crazy for you. Less than one and a half minutes. I am so feeling your pain. I kind of love it. And I am with you all the way to the end. One minute. Now you can see the sign ahead. It's on the right hand side. And you're going to keep pushing. Don't stop before the sign. Push past that finish line. 45 seconds. We are not going to stop. Not until we're done. 30 to go. Ah. Uh. Big gears, push, push hard. Oh, 45, 15 seconds. Can't talk, can't think. 10. Ready with a lap key. Three, two, one. Ah. for the cool down. Drop the gear. Tiny little bit to push against. Low gear. Keep the legs moving. Oh. oh. Yay! Oh. <laughs> oh, amazing effort. Fair play if you did that. At full gas. Please. I really would love to know if you're able to manage to find out what your percentage, I don't want to know your watts power because that will just depress me. My watts power is not fantastic. But for your personal, what's the average power output you manage for that 60 minute session, for that section? Now my ascent, not including the little bit at the bottom. My, my climb up was, was almost 60 minutes. I did it in almost 60 minutes. I was beyond happy with that, by the way. My power to weight ratio is not fantastic, so it was good effort. Now, I looked at my results afterwards, after I'd recovered a little bit. I managed on that climb Average of 95% of my FTP. Now, I was aiming to do it as close to 100 as possible. Given the heat and the fact that there was a coach coming down at one point, I had to stop because it almost took me out. I had to stop and get going again. Which didn't help my legs very much because it was a really steep bit. 95% FTP for an hour in that heat was, was, I was really beyond happy. Now then, folks. 
post me a comment. What percentage did you manage? Now you see I've thrown down the gauntlet. You're going to go, oh, I'm going to slow give that another go. Now, a word on that. If you have gone full gas, that is going to really hammer your body. Race day efforts. Your absolute, it's a race. You wouldn't do a race that, you know, as a, well, maybe if you're a pro athlete, but if you're, if you're a fairly conditioned athlete, I am going to give myself some days recovery from that because that was pretty big effort. Give your body time to make those adaptations that you've just really hammered it. Let the body soak up all that effort. Give your body a chance to adapt. Now, if you want to improve your ability, because what we've been doing is working at really high intensity there. And there are certain types of workout that you can do that will increase your body's ability to shuttle, what we call shuttling the lactate, to other parts of the body for fuel. You want to be working threshold. Uh, try the Beastie series of workouts. They will give you that kind of level of effort, threshold efforts. And next time you come back and try this again, certainly leave at least two weeks without doing some high uh, efforts in between. Work on your aerobic base. Sweet spot training, aerobic work, tempo work all that aerobic base building, because that is what's going to help you to get those really big efforts. That's what's going to put up, push up your FTP. Now, a note, if you really want to make the most of that effort, make sure you attempt it good and rested, really hydrated, hydrated before, during and after the workout. Make sure you're properly fueled, get some carbs before you do the workout. Protein and carbs straight afterwards. Let that body recover. Now, continuing the cool down. Just nice and fluid on the legs. Now I'm just gonna give you another two and a half minutes cool down here. If I do this ride by myself, I would probably spend another 10, 15 minutes cooling down. Bucket load of lactate in the legs. So keep the legs spinning. Keep them moving. The longer you can do a cool down and keep flushing the waste products out of the muscles, the less heavy your legs are going to feel. So when I'm done off camera here, I'm going to spend a little bit more time doing some cool down. Are you back with me? No, let's have a round of applause for your efforts. Yay! Did you enjoy that? Not as much as me, probably. Although, when you're interacting with a class of people, of course, you can, you, can see, you can see how much they've worked and how much fun they've had. I'm just assuming I'm going to see the same. In your eyes. Did you like that? Do you want more of those kind of efforts? More race days? I've got loads I can, I can put together. Let me know if you're interested. Lots of different themed rides. Just to keep the interest level there. Keep you interested, bit of fun. Because turbo works pretty grim, isn't it? Let's face it. When you get off the bike, maybe do your stretches if you like to do your certain stretches. If you look to my biomechanics series, biomechanic playlist, do some of those releases. That's what I'm going to be doing when I've done here. I did them before I got on the bike. Do some of those releases. Just helping all the joints out, all the mobility. Keep it going, a little while longer. 45 seconds. How you doing? Shoulders, oh, releasing those off. I think either my phone or my, I think my, I think this has gone, oh, I've had enough. I don't know why that stopped. Nearly done, folks. 15 seconds to go. Thanks for playing along today. Please give us a thumbs up if you like that. Subscribe. Send me those comments. What do you like? And thanks for playing along today. Till next time, folks. Well done.